Welcome to Infinity's Shaman Circle. I have created a sacred space dedicated to you, your body and soul, and our spirit tribe connections. Here, Soul Family Journeys Together. Hello, love, and welcome to Infinity Shaman Circle. I am Infinity, and this is episode eight, My True Identity. This is the... um the seventh map of the Soul Quest program. And it has been so magical and so amazing uh, in this program that uh, uh, I'm gonna have to do a whole other show about all that's happened just with me and my life and, and the transformations and the changes and the evolutions and the big, big, uh, new stuff, I guess you could say. I'm not going to get into that here though, but I, I will say that uh, there is so much um, wonderful energy in this program with these beautiful women that have joined me in the Shaman Circle. And through it, um, we've refined so we have adjustments and updates to the circle i mean to the program uh and i will be uh because i've been busy with all the shifts and changes i have still yet to uh announce that put out in an article what the changes are but there are some really awesome changes that everybody is into uh and we made these adjustments in the middle of the program because that's what I was guided to do and what we're going to do going forward. So uh, stay tuned for that coming up. But I will say that aside from me and my own life, I'm getting feedback that this has been really magical and helpful and healing and evolutionary and people making breakthroughs and feeling so much stronger. And it's really, really awesome. I love it so much um, that I have made the changes that I'm making so we can do it as much as possible. So there's a little teaser uh, about what will be coming up in the near future. Okay, so let's get into it. This is my true identity map. And uh, what we're getting into here is really an overview of what you've learned throughout all the other maps leading to, to this one. The physical map, the mental map, the emotional map, sorry, I always say physical, the spiritual map, the mental map, the emotional map, then the physical, then the energetic, then the abundance. And these are all our body. So the spiritual body, the, um, <laughs> the mental body that I can barely get a grasp on myself right now because my bell is wrong with so much going on. Uh, so bear with me. It is what it is right now. My brain is just trying to catch up to reality and everything that's happening. And what's so cool about it is that all of these things are so in alignment with where we've been with this program and all of these body maps that it's just it can't be more more divine and more magical and more synchronistic it's just and i will get into it all on its own i promise uh because it is really really quite magical and beautiful but it's a lot it's a lot to process so my bell, my, my bell's a little rung I am, um, I am tired with everything that's gone on and, and all the things that I'm, I'm doing and preparing for and planning and uh, just a lot. It's a lot. So anyway, um, it's all good. It's all amazing. It's all so, so, so amazing. It's just a lot. <laughs> oh my God. It's so exciting. I'm so excited. So anyway, okay. So let, let me try this again. We got the spiritual map, the mental map, the emotional map, then the physical map, then the energetic map, and then the abundance map, and then here, my true identity. So after going through all of those bodies, the spiritual body, uh, <laughs> why do I keep trying to torture myself with this? I'm not going to keep repeating them, but those are all the bodies. <laughs> those are all the bodies. 
and really connecting with them in a way that we haven't before, really as making assessments, um, answering questions that are, are only, there's no right or wrong, it just is what it is. And uh, getting more information about yourself, a, a glimpse into who, uh, who you were, who you are, and who you're gonna be, and uh, all that good stuff. So really, this map, the My True Identity map, is about your identity shifts, the past, the present, and the future. And this brings it all together for you to look at from a higher perspective, a bird's eye view of what is all going on, who you were, who you are, and who you know you are to become. At least enough of that to lock in on. And all of that is, of course, directly related with your soul and your soul connection. It's called the Soul Quest Program for a reason to get you closer to your soul, for your full embodiment, for your full integration. So you have healed and cleared and dumped all the fears and reprogrammed yourself and disconnected and reconnected. It's a lot of work and it takes years. It's not something that happens um, quickly. And we recognize that as more and more time goes on, like, oh shit, I saw there's so much healing and so much processing to do, even though I've done so much and I've leveled up so much and, uh, and all of us have in our own way. There's, it's really important, very important soul quest, beautiful divine being soul incarnate. It's so important for you to not compare yourself to anybody else where they are, how, what their abilities are, what they can do, what you can or cannot do, how long they've been doing it, how long you've been doing it, please take that out of the equation because that in itself is uh, its own like little ascension trap that eats up and chews up energy and really keeps you from ascending. So do your best to not compare yourself to anybody else. And especially with me, um, when you're coming to work with me in this program or otherwise, thinking about how long everybody else has been here with me, if you're a new person, um, I and the group do not see that see it that way. We all know that at this point in the game, we all know, I've known for forever, but everybody's known for being around and connecting with each other in the group that we have that... Anybody that joins is soul family, and we are just reconnecting and remembering um, each other in in various ways, teaching each other, showing each other, leaning on each other, supporting each other, being excited for each other, validating each other. It's really, really beautiful. Really, really beautiful. Um, we love each other so much. We have really long meetings. <laughs> in this program, but I am all in for it. I could go longer. I know, I know that others get tired and it's late, but I, I swear I could go longer. I have stamina for this stuff. I love helping and guiding and answering questions and helping to connect the dots and um, guiding people through this program is really, really been so fulfilling and beautiful for me. So rewarding, better and more um, enriching and rich and and fun and all the things um, more than I even thought it was going to be. And I am so excited for the future with this program and with more people coming in when they're divinely guided to and the new way that we have things set up for the future with this program. Um, so anyway, <laughs> I digress. Uh, <clears throat> the past, present, and future. So this is a, of course, prepare for it. There's a lot of questions in this one. I think it's on par with the abundance body map. Um, I think it's right around the same amount. 
of questions somewhere around 35 36 questions for you so pace yourself um dear one when you're doing this when you're preparing to do this this one please 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 give it the attention time the dedication that it deserves um don't cram it all into a couple hours right before the the live <clears throat> like i know all of us have done maybe more than once um and i'm guilty of that too because i've literally had so much going on um but i've completed every map before the live <laughs> Um, not to say that I don't have to go back and, and fill in some blanks and, and really process this through, which I fully intend to do a hundred percent. What we're going to get more into that, like what to do, what we're going to do with ourselves after the program ends. And, and we have all these maps and, and then the culmination of everything. This is the second to last one with the, uh, the my true identity and then the last one is my spirit name and that's a lot and that's big and that's also you know a lot to to process so uh but we'll get into that and and what it what we're to do with ourselves after we get done with with this um first maiden voyage of this soul quest program uh, but with that said Excuse me. Um, I don't really have a whole lot to say about this one. This is going to be a short podcast because uh, it's a culmination of everything. This is your identity. This is you thinking about who you were, who that person was, how that person felt, how they operated, what they were what their life was like, how healthy they were or not healthy they were, how spiritually disconnected, how toxic their relationships were, what they, you know, all this stuff. Um, who was that person? And then think of the you now. Who are you now compared to that person? And this math makes you go back and forth and forward as well. Who do you see? Who is this future person um, that you will be as you evolve, as you become more and more soul connected? And we started that with the abundance body map, with the abundance body spirit walk. That was so cool. <laughs> these are all, all these spirit walks are just really, really beautiful. I've done them myself over again, several times as I've been guided, because even though I channel them and it comes through my mouth, my face, my body, I will forget so much of what that, what, what happens there. It's a very dreamy phenomenon in the astral and working with the energy and um, channeling or hearing the channeling. So I have very, a very similar um, uh, reaction, response, uh, experience that the other people have that do it. It's just, it's weirder for me, I think, on some level, but because it comes from me. But yeah, like the, uh, everybody forgets a lot of the spirit walks um, and need to do it again to remember and again to really let it sink in and really, really remember more and more. I personally think it takes four or five times of any spirit walk to remember at least half of it uh, because bring it back into this dimension and it is, it's very, very, you have to do them and they're out there, not the spirit walk, not the soul quest ones for the um, for the program. Those are private for program members only, but I have tons of spirit walks that are, that are free and available, new moon, full moon, and all sorts of times, eclipses and, um, solstices. And whenever I'm guided, we did them every day leading up to the soul quest program. We had the daily, um, the dailies, uh, in April leading up to, uh, to the program so there's all those that are really amazing uh so if you have not done them go ahead and do them if you have done them maybe go back and do some or all of them again um anyway 
it's the phenomenon that happens to everybody, including me, <laughs> that we forget what happened in those spirit walks. It's really, really interesting um, just how that works for with our consciousness because we're so present. We're, we're so engaged and working. It's a very, very lucid dream is really the way to describe it. It's a very, very lucid dream that all sorts of magical things happen in there that couldn't happen in real life. And when we come back to real life, we forget a lot of that lucid dream, even though in the dream, we're like, I'm never going to forget this. This is amazing. And then you get, and then you wake up and you're like, I know I had a dream and I know that there was this and that, but what else was there? And I know, you know, it's very, very similar to that. Very. And the cool thing is with the spirit walks, it is unlike a dream is that you get to repeat them. You get to remind yourself, you get to do them over and over and over again. And as a soul quest member, um, you get to do that as many times as you want, um, the spirit walks. So anyway, um, this one is definitely different because we finished with all the bodies. This is a culmination of your awareness of what you did. So you will maybe be thinking, huh, I'm going to go back to these other maps and kind of refresh my memory. It's a real review before the graduation. It's kind of like the, the end of this, the school year exams. And then, oh, what did I learn? <laughs> Let me remember what I learned. Um, so much has happened and I've changed even within the program. I've changed and made alterations and made changes and experienced, you know, big shifts. And so in the program, this has happened as well. So, and then, um, and then thinking of, of that, and then we have, you know, preparing with, and studying, doing this exam with the my true identity, we have the graduation, which is my spirit name, and that's the last map, and that's next week. I'm very excited for that. It's it's real. It's you know really tie it all up, and I'm super super duper excited about that. Uh, <clears throat> but this is a uh, a real opportunity to do what you did with all the other maps, but um, it combines all the other maps. So you'll, you'll understand when you get in there what I'm talking about um, because it really is the rainbow of everything and things that you hadn't thought about before, we hadn't put in the maps before, because it's about your future self and connecting to that person even more so than we even talked about in the abundance body map. So that's all very exciting. I hope that you are able to process through and do this map and, and you don't come up against too many um, uh, walls or resistances or, or feeling really super heavy about stuff. Cause we've been through these, we've processed them. We've talked about stuff. We've had questions answered and figured things out and whatever, whatever. So now you have a further perspective from it from when you first did it. And you can also fill in some more blanks as well. So I'm going to leave it at that, my loves. Uh, because of course we have a lot to do and I don't need to just talk to talk. This is short and sweet because of the nature of this map and you'll see when you get into it. So I look forward to discussing it with you, um, in our, in our live private meeting that we're going to have on Monday and, um, yeah, I guess that's it for now. Thank you so much to those of you, of course, that are in the program. For those of you that are interested in the program, please check it out on my website. Um, there, if you knew about it before and what we were doing, and um, we've changed it, and most of those changes are on the website. Um, there's a couple little tweaks. But anyway, check out um, infiniteempath.com, and uh, you can go to plans and programs or just scroll a little further little ways down on the home page um, and you'll see that link for the soul quest program and for that matter if it's been a while since you've been to my 
website a few uh, weeks at least or a month or whatever, it has been completely rearranged and shifted in so many ways. So check it out. I'm really, really excited for the, the look and feel and everything that's going on with it. So with that said, I hope you have a wonderful week uh, and into this beautiful map that's going to connect you with your true identity, who you really are now. So you can move forward from that place of beingness for yourself, not the who you used to be, the who you are, and with the inspiration of who you have glimmers and feelings and visions of the person you are going to be when you're even further along in your healing and your uh, uh, clearing and connections and revelations and remembrances and shifts and changes and the whole evolution of yourself and tapping into that version of yourself too to really inspire you. Remember, time is not linear. It's a matrix. It's a web of life. And and the and so there in in a dimension in the in the space time quantum energy field your future you is there and um but still very much um also in shift and and whatever you're doing here affects that future version of yourself and when you go forward connected to your future self connected to your present self acknowledged your past self and have a very clear intention about how much effort and energy you are going to put into yourself, the seriousness of this wonderful project that is you and your life, getting to your soul and your soul missions and your life purpose more and more and more as you move forward. It's all very, very exciting. Tap into all of that lusciousness, that beauty. Um, call your guides and guardians. Do some oracle if you feel like that's going to help get you grounded into this before you do this. Of course, all the instructions are there. Nothing has changed as far as what's good to prepare yourself for getting into this. Of course, the spirit walk, as we talked about. All right, that's it. I'm done. Done rambling. Goodbye. I love you. And I will see you soon. Dear soul family, bye for now.